Oh, you found it? Oh, oh yeah. Bring the mic closer. Oh. Oh. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the guasha already. <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> God, it's finished. Those knuckles are brutal, Ed. <laughs> That's a not too. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a knot there. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, I feel so weird. Packs were cake compared to that. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like friendly. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ooh. When I'm running, I feel a pain like down here after a while. Okay. And that's new to me, and I don't know why that is. Go ahead. One finger, what's the most pain? Right here. Uh-huh. So not, not necessarily down here, no. but okay. Yeah. These are a lot of attachments in here. Mm -hmm. I'm not this is not a wear point. This is it's most likely the alignment that you're in when you're running is Inflaming that joint in there. I got rear-ended. Yeah. Rear-ended? Mm -hmm. All right. And then that sort of took everything that you were dealing with and just ramped it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you've been seeking some care. Yeah. The main symptom, again, is that left shoulder blade. Uh, bilaterally. Both uh, sides. So both sides, yeah. And then uh, that pain in the middle back there a little bit. Correct. Yeah. All right. Maybe start back on your back one. Deep breath in for me. Go sit up. Head back on. Exhale. Nice. Very good. Deep breath in. Here we go. Two more. Exhale. There we go. Head straight. Deep breath in, here we go. One more. Right it down. Chin down. Very good, there you go. Much better. Take a deep breath in for me. Exhale. Oh, is that for me? Good, huh? Let's go fix that for me. Good, huh? I got you. Relax. There you go. Got you. There we go. Nice. Hmm. Right for here, we got round one. Okay. Did you know it was gonna? Did you know the collision was going to happen? Mm. Did you have warning? Did you kind of were able to like brace yourself or? Not really. So everyone kind of stopped. So we stopped too. Uh huh. We thought we were gonna rear end someone because mm. it was raining mm. and it was a sudden stop, but we didn't, and we weren't expecting to be rear ended. Gotcha. I had a patient who, 19 years old, was rear-ended by a drunk driver, 45 miles an hour. Her boyfriend's in the passenger seat. He's never been adjusted in his life. Mm -hmm. The passenger, uh, the driver, my patient, had been adjusted since she was a baby. Both received the same force. Both are 19 years old. Mm -hmm. The driver felt nothing afterwards. Oh. The passenger was dying. Oh. <laughs> you understand, like in terms of neck pain. Yeah. So. Why is that? Why is one person, they both get the same force into the neck, yet mm -hmm. why is the, the in that situation? Well, his neck, all the force went into one area because his neck wasn't moving evenly. All the stress went into one spot mm -hmm. because his upper neck was tight. Her neck was, when you say, moving better and in a better alignment, so the forces were more spread out. So they both received the same force, but hers was more over a larger surface area, okay. while his was more pinpoint. So a person that's not been adjusted can be actually more injured than a person that's been adjusted. I remember seeing some study where they asked people, I don't know if they had high motion cameras and they put people through like minor car accidents. <laughs> Who would sign up for this? But they, they um, on, on slow motion you could see how much their spine moved. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> how much range of motion actually happened in a, in a whiplash. But then they asked the patient or the victim, <laughs> You know, how much do you think you actually moved in that car accident? Mm -hmm. And everybody said very little. Yeah. No, I didn't, it, was, it was very minor. Yeah, they saw the slow motion footage and everybody's like shocked to see, oh my gosh. You know, so we don't really have a good mental perception of what happens. Yeah. See, for us, we were going, it was on a 45 road, so we were 45. And it, like I said, it was raining. Gotcha. But we had enough room to stop. Um, right, the car, blah, blah, car Yeah, blah, blah. and like I looked at my passenger, I was like, "Are you okay?" Because it was like very sudden stop, bam. and that's when it hit. As soon as I turned, I was like, "Wow!" So you had your head turned to the right. Yeah, yeah that's why the left side's all bopped out here. Is yeah, because when you turn your head right, this all popped out, and mm -hmm. then you got hit, 
Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you had your head turned to the right, and then when you get hit, the neck went back into the right, which pops out the left one. Gotcha. I'm feeling your left side of your neck. I don't think it was this big last time I saw you. We want to tilt you to the left to close that. Hopefully, when who's working on you is noticing that, but you want to work on this left side, kind of compress this. Oh, yeah. It's all popped out right here on the left. Yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. All right. So really, one side of your neck took the whiplash. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because your head was rotated, you know, you didn't have an even, you know, spreading of the force. Too many variables. There's so many variables in an accident. It's like not everybody's whiplash is the same. Mm -hmm. So on your neck, Dan, it'll be back into the left. Okay. You know, try to do like a one-month prescription where when you're on the dental, you have your head straight and then do a little bit of left rotation with your neck. Try to see if you can get some more pressure on this left side. A little bit, but oh, yeah. right there. the joints just inflamed. When you're on those, we'll show you the back dental all day and the rollers. You know, when like your mom was doing, stretching mm -hmm. your shoulders back will help to reduce this. We got to start, it's time to start stretching. We want to work all these angles oh, okay. with the shoulder. That's what's going to lengthen this and reduce this tension in here. It's like one problem at a time, <laughs> one landmine at a time. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the washer already. Oh, <laughs> that that got it. This might feel a little better. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was going faster. <laughs> You were this Colossus. You were this great legendary thing. <laughs> and yet he gains. Well, I'm carrying three people. He only have himself. <laughs> Those knuckles are brutal, Ed. <laughs> that thought he had mastered all my care and then I worked on his pecs and he was like, Ed, I, I feel like I'm a white belt again. <laughs> that was brutal.
There's the roots of the neck. The more forward the head goes, the more injury to the joints, the more the head that goes forward to get the weight off the joints, which then makes these attachments inflamed because they're now being pulled on more. It's like all the trees in Sarasota that lean down. All the roots are coming out of the ground on the opposite side. So as the tree leans over, the, these are the roots. The head, as the head goes forward, the roots and the shoulders start to raise up. It's like a good pain. Mm hmm. Let's get at me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ed, you were nicer on the first <laughs> visit, and then you got all mean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bar's a little higher today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta jump higher now. <laughs> so the pain that he's feeling in it's his really, back, it's, like it's, his scapula, or is yeah, that? Yeah, it's a referral from here. It's that's, that's referral. That's a referral pain from the lower neck being overstressed. Oh, that one feels more bumpy there. Mm -hmm. Good easier here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Get it out of you. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a knot too? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I had a knot there. <laughs> That's it. Ah, uh, Ed, yes, take me home. Uh, I yearn for my adjustment. People ask me, I'm like, man, 6.45, 7 o'clock, my dad works on me, it's like, yes, <laughs> feed me. So I've had doctors ask me in the past, like, you know, about stress and everything. They're like, oh, do you feel on your shoulders? It's like, no, never. For the first time the other day, I felt it. I was like, oh, this is what they mean. Right, yeah, guarding, yeah. Yeah, it's a common, you know, like we say, protective center. It's a mental stress, physical stress, emotion, you know, all that gets, gets held in here. And then I've had people where I work on them, and then you start releasing it, and all those emotions start getting poured out of here. And yes. your body stores stuff in here. We call it the psychosomatic. It means that mental energy is like stored in your soma, in your, in your muscles, in your tissue. So, I don't know why, but my shoulder blades usually feel like glued. Mm. Like there's no movement. Well, having this all inflamed around here is going to limit the mobility. You know, all these muscles are spasmed. You know, you're, it's like the muscle in the front are tight, right? Mm -hmm. The muscle in the back are tight. So, they both are playing, <clears throat> excuse me, like a tug of war. You know, so that you're limited in your range of motion because everything's in lockdown. So, you got to stretch the front. Release all the tension in the back. Get this. Get these joints all moving in here, and then you'll be able to move it more.
this it was this side right it was right here yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's a little popped out right there Is that a joint or? Yes. It is? Yeah. It's all it's swollen right there. It's just the joint yeah. swollen. You got to compress that. What area is that in, in reference to like spinal? I know it's like lumbar, but... Lumbar 1, T12, like the end of your thoracic cage, beginning okay. of your lumbar, it's like a wishy-washy transition zone between the two types of vertebrae. Bump doesn't exist over here. Well, you feel the difference is all smooth. Yeah. On the right, and you—that's why you can point to it with such specificity. When you can, when I, mean, I ask you where pain is, and you go, "It's right there." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a joint. You know, because you can, you can, you can identify the exact knuckle that's swollen. Versus if somebody describes pain as an area, they go, mm -hmm. "Well, it's kind of here." Gotcha. You know, that's then the nerve, right? So the nerve is giving you a whole section that it goes to, and so it's a lot more, more broad. When you show like a shoulder blade, it's like it's like it's here. Yeah. Makes sense. You're not able to go. It's right there. That's where it hurts. Right. It's it's kind of an area. You know, funny enough, in the shoulder blade, it was there. <laughs> that area you were just pointing right. to. Well, yeah. there could be rib too. Yeah. I mean, you can have a rib underneath. I think that's what they mentioned before. It was my ribs back mm -hmm. there. You can have a rib that's, that's that's out of place or swollen. That's you know the joint is inflamed. My wife was making me watch something and the ladies, the chiropractor lady was saying, joints don't go out of place. That's incorrect. I'm like, well, the joint gets inflamed and then it's not where it's supposed to be because <laughs> the fluid is pushing the joint out of where it's supposed to be. Now, yeah, it's not dislocated, but it's definitely out. Yeah. You know, it's like you're splitting hairs here a little bit, but the fact is that we're trying to compress the joint. We're trying to change the posture, but whatever word you want to use, that's why we try to use the word subluxated sub less than luxated dislocated so it's mm -hmm. less than a dislocation it's not dislocated it's subluxated it's inflamed and the joint is not where it's supposed to be being asked the question how should i sit is similar to me asking a dental hygienist what's the best way to grind my teeth pretty sure every dental hygienist is going to say don't grind them you know, it's not good for your teeth well it doesn't hurt we don't care <laughs> it's not good for you eventually they will Less yak and more cracking. That feels tight there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. You're not a white belt anymore. I can go a little deeper now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I can probably take it. All right, let's do it. Hopefully. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, I'll breathe. There's fluid in that joint right there. So that's a joint? That mm -hmm. was a rib head. Rib, rib head. head. Okay. Yeah, rib attaches to the side of the transverse process right here. Do you know which one that is? One, two, about T3, T3, mm -hmm. T4. Mm -hmm. What do they say? Six up, seven down? So seven up. Six, six down, seven up. So when you're upright, the bottom of your Scapula should be T7. When you're down, it's T6. Okay. So you take the, you know, when you're upright or down, the bottom of your scapula, this is about T6. So this is about T3, T4 right here.
nice. Wow. Really much better though. Feels really good. He's pushing really hard. That's really awesome. Huh? You're doing He's great. He's pushing really hard. His face is doing a lot of effort. <laughs> you're so you're great. handling it great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was great. He, Ed looks like he's trying hard. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I tell my patients eventually I'll be able to do everything I want to do, and you're just laughing at about, about laughing to me, tell me about your day, and having a good time back here while I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of hear it even closer. Mm -hmm. Whew, it's tough. Yeah, I feel it's less than this side. Is it? It's not as. Not as elevated. It's there, but yeah. it's it's sunk. It's more sunken, and it's more in its normal position over here. Left side is definitely farther, or it's more swollen, more out of alignment. Really amazing, really good. That felt really, really good. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. impressive. There's like a spot there. Mm -hmm. I feel it's weird. Painful? No, I feel like it's. I feel like it's sticking out. Yes. And it's painful. Yeah, around there. Yep. 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 Oh, you found it. Oh yeah. Lift it up. <laughs> yeah. Bone is not in the right position. I always quote this thing from how it should have ended, where they basically it's like a cartoon. I'll show you. Yeah, I love it. Oh, you've seen this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love you. I he, love he knows this. what I'm talking about. There's one with the Transformers. <laughs> Remember the first one was like back in 2009. It was like you know Megatron is talking to that like. Yeah. One ancient guy is like, now if you can only be beaten by a Prime, and I just killed Optimus Prime earlier, then technically that makes me more powerful than you, now doesn't it? <laughs> and the guy's like, no, it doesn't. No, uh, last we'll have revenge, right? Uh, I'm the leader. And then Megatron goes, yeah, well, we're done here. No, come on, man. The one from Avengers Endgame had me dying. Oh, I love all those. Oh, my gosh. Yes, okay. Yeah, it feels weird because there are days where I just feel like someone needs to grab like That's right. both of those shoulder blades and like pull them apart if that uh -huh. makes sense. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I feel that. All the guarding around it.
you have a channel like is a bad lip reading. You ever seen the channel? Bad lip yeah. reading. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You punched a fish. <laughs> you slapped a fish. Yeah, right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is, you said that's the bone? Rib, yeah. The rib? Okay. Rib attack. Musculature above the rib. The rib head's like right here. Mm hmm And then this is all the musculature connecting to the rib. Overlying the rib. Rhomboids. It is nice. Nice. Good. Yeah, definitely feel that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's worse than the packs. Oh my gosh, it's tight. Does that mean it's just oh. We'll go shot a little bit. Oh. Oh, yeah. I feel that. Oh, the packs were cake compared to that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's <laughs> like funny. Man, that hurts. I definitely feel that one. Well, see, obviously, this is the disparity between what's clean and what's dirty still. <laughs> right, this is still, we got to start working on it. We've gotten your back massively better yeah. after since last visit, and now we got to start getting these ancillary areas. Ooh. Oh. Right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 100%. Somebody call 911! No, sorry. Uh, right there. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow, well, that pain is. Mm -hmm. Something I've mm -hmm. felt before. Wow. You guys need to add like a camera under this like <laughs> thing right here to see like get people's reactions. Oh my gosh. That's true. Oof. Let's throw a completely different like thing on it. <laughs> Help! Oof. Well, I gave your mic. I was giving your mom like a preview. I didn't want to dig into her because first visit she had enough to deal with in her. Back, but yeah. She was sore in the pack sand in this area too. I know. Yeah, get it all cleaned up. 
Keep your forehead to forearm contact. Contact? Okay. Yeah, keep that keep that forehead to forearm contact. Gotcha. Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. And then exhale. Exhale, exhale. There it is, good. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my shoulder blades that would feel a whole lot better. Here we go. Both of this. You gotta help me with that targeting that, but arms up. Yeah, arm back, bend the knees, head back. Get the idea? Mm -hmm. We want to put that right above it, and then you're going to use like a little bit of attraction. Does that make sense? Yeah. To get it to slide down on top of it. Okay. So you want to, really the only way to ultimately change that position of that bone is by compressing it and then stretching it. Okay. So we adjust it to make it limber so that this actually can go deep enough. You know, as your arms relax, there you go. If you can, if it's too difficult, put your arms to the side or on the belly, but mm -hmm. see if you can keep your arms up a little bit. Go up. Or just relax, oh. relax. I'm saying keep them up over your head like this. Gotcha. And, um... Should elbows go back or should they just eventually, straight? Well, just relax, just relax. Okay. I, want, I want your arms relaxed as best you can. But yeah, this is... So you're the this is the yellow thoracic dentorol, and it's between your shoulder blades, so it's thin enough to get between your shoulder blades without... Right, if, if shoulder blades take pressure, then they prevent pressure in between, right? Okay. So they made a dental it's thin enough to go between, you can push on that rib head, and then you can get pressure in between your scapulas, and that's what you, that's what you really need to, you need to be targeting this upper back area. And uh, your, you know, your range is from that, is that whole T1 through T7 area between the shoulder blades. Okay. The main thing I was saying is you make your contact and you have like a downward tissue pull. Okay. Right? So you make your contact and then you're going to slide upwards to make it slide downwards on you. Gotcha. And you keep that contact and that's how you're going to get rid of that that knot in there and essentially that, that you know, rib that's raised, it has to be stretched down. When I'm like stretching, trying to crack my neck or going like this, I feel like going across to the back as well. Yeah, it's because what's happening is you're recruiting, you're, mm -hmm. because your neck, because your upper cervical is tight, you're going to use your thoracic and okay. middle back to assist in turning your neck. Now that shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's happening because you're not your upper neck isn't giving everything it should be giving. Careful when they're, you can adjust the joint below, but not the lower back. You want to adjust this without adjusting that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, same thing with your, if, you're, if they're adjusting your lower neck, like just little things like, you know, notice when I was adjusting my hand was up off the occiput here. Mm -hmm. I, I never, I never, I didn't put my hand down here. Does that make sense? And mm -hmm. push into your lower neck. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. That's your lower neck. This is your upper neck. So just, Take a mental note if you can yeah. when he's adjusting you. Maybe ask a question like, "What bones are we trying to adjust? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> what's the purpose? Are you know, uh, is it possible my shoulder blade pain is coming from my lower neck? It's overworked. Should we maybe leave my lower neck alone? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What to tell you, I, I would try to be sneaky about it and yeah. try to see if you can ask questions to go. This guy in Sarasota said that my lower neck is injured and that it's injured because it's hypermobile. And if we keep adjusting it, does that make it? More injured. Mm -hmm. Okay. And should we be working maybe above and below? He said my upper back is tight, my middle back's tight, my upper neck is tight, and he tries to work around it. Your neck turns all the way to full lockout. The neck is straight. Mm -hmm. There is no curve in a healthy neck when the neck is fully rotated. Okay. So if you have your head turned all the way to the side or tilted, you're essentially stretching the curve out of your neck. Got it. So people ask me, how should I sleep? The ideal is on your back with your head turned no more than 45 degrees, you know, is, is where we're trying to be. That way you keep some semblance of curve in your neck and you're supporting that curve. All right, but very good, you did great. How'd you feel? A lot better, thank awesome. you. Oh, thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, that was, that was the most intense level work I've seen in a while. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you.